Idris Elba is the Creeper. Fear the Creeper. All right, it's actually called No Good Deed as in No Good Deed Goes Unpunished, but I'm totally gonna call it the Creeper because he's a creeper. So the Creeper stars Idris Elba and he's this guy, the serial killer of women. And now he's on the run. He goes to this chick's house and it's pretty much him being a creep for a movie. I swear to God, that's the premise of the movie. That's why it's the Creeper. And a movie like this wouldn't bother me. You feel like maybe it'll have that panic room type vibe and it could have. And it kind of does in scenes, but all in all, it's just Idris Elba making the entire movie uncomfortable, which the movie's supposed to be uncomfortable and he's supposed to be weird and creepy and in that there's success to that but really is there a point to it that's the question first of all like i just said idris elba he's great in the movie he's good it was apparent early on in seeing this dude's work i was like whatever this guy wants to bring to the screen he brings to the screen he brings it hard however he's so good at being creepy he makes the people in the movie stupid seriously this guy is throwing up all the red flags he's throwing out all the creepy vibe in the world and it's going right through her she's not seeing any of that shit which is baffling to me since when she was describing her job she was like, oh yeah, I worked on uh, abused women cases and serial psychos. She might as well have just turned to him and been like, I had the ideal job to sniff you out when you're in my house. And she doesn't at all. In fact, the only one who sniffs him out is her slutty ass friend played by Leslie Bibb. Not complaining, Leslie Bibb is really hot and I, she was fun in that really slutty way. But she's straight up the one who's like, all right, I have test driven a lot of dicks and there's something off about that one. And after that, it's kind of a home invasion movie, but the guy's already in the home, so it's just a creep movie. It's Idris Elba's character making this girl feel uncomfortable and overpowering the shit out of her and being belittling. He's a narcissist Ted Bundy type who has this girl in her house. And that's my problem with the movie. When I got out of the movie, I was like, was there a point to the movie? And the answer is no, because the movie didn't have any wit to it. Yeah, they do a good job at making Idris Elba creepy when he needs to be creepy and having a really uncomfortable vibe in the room. But it kind of reminded me of the same thing as those hostile movies, those torture porn movies. This movie isn't torture porn by any means. There's not really a lot of blood. It's, it's, it's a different thing, but it's comparable in the sense that those torture porn movies exist just to have some Something happened in excess, so you walk out and go, I saw that in excess, and that's why I went to see it. Same thing here, this has creep factor in excess, and that's why the movie exists. It exists for no other reason other than that. I wasn't not entertained in the movie, but when I walked out, I was like, yeah, time well spent. Not really. Idris Elba was really good in it. It did have a creepy vibe. That's what the movie was going for, so it succeeded in that. However, seeing this narcissistic serial killer guy overpower this girl for most of the movie, she does fight back, so that's cool. But you feel like the pitch for this movie is like, hey, let's have a movie where a guy is just a creep and he's in the girl's house. Huh? And that's that. Nothing really was behind it. It didn't use its wits enough, so I gotta say, The Creeper, you're not gonna remember it in T-minus a couple days. Yep, already forgot. So who is your favorite creepy guy in any movie whatsoever? Whoever he is or she is, Creeps can be chicks. Whoever they are, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.